This is a take apart repair guide for a Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, we're going to need two tools, which are going to include a safe open pry tool and a small Phillips screwdriver, both available at repairsuniverse.com. To begin the repair, the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure the device is fully powered off. Once it is, then we're just going to remove the back cover here using this little tab near the power button. With the back battery cover removed, we can now remove the battery as well as the SIM card and the memory card. We're now ready to remove the 10 small Phillips screws located throughout the outside edges of the back housing here. Shown in the diagram to the left, is all the screw locations. And now just for the final few screws at the bottom here. There we have it. We're now ready to remove the back housing. To do this, we're going to use a safe home pry tool or your fingernail and just run it across this seam right here. This will release all the clips holding that back housing to the screen assembly. So it's going to work around the sides and the top and bottom. As you can see, once each clipper is released, it pulls a little bit further away. There we go. Some of the final clips being released right here. And there we go. The back housing has now been removed from your Galaxy S4 Mini. The next step will be to remove the motherboard and release all its connections. So to do that, we're going to flip it around here. In the top left corner, there will be a metal cover covering the camera and the proximity sensor. So I'm just going to use some tweezers here and gently lift up on this bracket. And there we go. This metal cover has now been removed. There will now be six connections, all of them pop connectors. They'll need to be released from the motherboard. So using our pry tool, we we'll begin just popping these connections. All you want to do is get underneath the connection and gently lift up. Right here is the front camera. Next will be the ear speaker and proximity sensor flex cable. On the right here will be the headphone jack. On the bottom here, we'll have a small antenna flex cable. This will be the dock port flex cable. And finally, the keypad flex. Now that we have all these connections released, we can now flip over the motherboard. We want to start on this left side here and flip it to the right. As there is still a flex cable connected underneath. So, as we pull this apart a little bit, you'll see here's the ear speaker flex cable that just came out. But as we flip the motherboard out, there will be the screen flex cable here, which will be another pop connection that we'll just need to release. the motherboard removed, we can now access the main camera, which is located on the top here. This simply held in place with the jaw connector. So all we need to do is use our safe open pry tool and lift the black tab on the left side of the connector. Once the black tab is lifted, you can then pull out the flex cable, as shown here.
And here's the main camera for the Galaxy S4 Mini. And we're now just going to put the motherboard to the side. To remove the final components, we're going to begin with the headphone jack, which is located up in the top right here. And there's a few way to ways to access this to get it to re release quickly, as it's just held in place with adhesive. And the best way is just to press your pry tool underneath and lift up through the audio jack hole. And there we go. The next component will be the vibrate motor, which is located in the top left here. The best way to access this is right here in this lower right corner. However, you just want to be very careful with this flex cable as the actual ribbon is very small and delicate. So as you can see, we're trying to loosen that adhesive right now. Once the adhesive is a little bit more loosened, we'll be able to get underneath it here and lift it up. And then just being very careful, we're going to release the rest of that ribbon. And there we have it, the vibrate motor has now been removed from the housing. Continue working our way down. We'll have the dock port flex, which is located at the very bottom here. Let's give us one second, we'll shift this up. There we go. So we're just going to release that microphone right there. And let's continue working our way around and release that adhesive. This flex cable includes the dock port and the microphone. And from here we just have the SIM card and micro SD card flex cable. So to release this, we're just going to lift up on the red tab here. And then pull out the flex cable from inside. And there we go. Now it's just simply held in place with some more adhesive. So we're just going to get underneath it using our pry tool. And there is our SIM card and micro SD card flex. And there we have it. Your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini has now been disassembled. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like our video. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And for more helpful guides, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.